That's very good, Serge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know if this is uh, if this crosses your area of expertise, Cam, mm -hmm. but there is uh, this is a very quick challenge for Cam. Dear Dr. Cameron, please explain dioxygen difluoride and why it's unusual to read the words explosion in scientific literature. <laughs> uh, okay, so what this challenge is referring to is a compound that is colloquially called foof. Um, and that is an onomatopoeia, because <laughs> foof is one of the things that you read about when you're reading about zany chemistry stuff that some lunatic put together in a lab for completely uh, uh, bragging rights, basically. It has, as far as I can tell, foof has no actual purpose. <laughs> um, it's not useful for anything. You can probably make some of it and then look at it <coughs> As long as you don't breathe too near it. Um, is it poisonous? No, foof is very, very explosive. Fluorine <laughs> is... It sounds uh, awesome. Yeah, this this does not like being foof. <laughs> right. The, the, these things don't like being. Uh, and they're going to try very hard to be something else. Uh, and that works out really well for them. So, imagine you're near a couple that doesn't like each other very much, and... They don't, they don't want to be near each other. Everyone wants them to be apart. Uh, and the, the other, the, 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 but if, if you breathe on them too hard, they're just gonna hurt people. <laughs> yeah. It's basically like the entirety of the Mountain Goats Tallahassee album. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't remember if foof is the stuff that will set fire to glass. Mm. Uh, uh. It's a very, very powerful oxidizer. Things. So is I, it? I think it might set. Is it the stuff that sets fire to brick? Fire to the rain. Yeah. It it it, it. 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 shouldn't be. Never make foof. So and and the other part of the thing is is that why explosion is not normally seen in scientific literature is it that explosion it, 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 is a non scientific. There are yeah, lots of different like, types yeah, of explosion. Explosion is not specific, right? You 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 when something explodes, it reacts vigorously, <laughs> right? Or it reacts exothermically, or it reacts, um, uh, 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 like, I think azides, which are what are in um, airbags, mm. Mm. Uh, are described as reacting vigorously, usually. Right. And they, they, they explode, those things explode real, real good. So, um, so if you're reading a, a, a scientific paper and it says, we put these two chemicals together and it had a vigorous exothermic reaction. Yeah, that's, that's something, something you, you, you don't you want to do. You would write that down in your lab manual while you're preparing to, to reproduce that experiment, and you would probably see, oh yeah, that would produce a you vigorous think, exothermic that's a reaction. Yeah. Um, and foof, you look at it and just go, no. N no. <laughs> why, why? Why is this here? Like, there's lots of stuff that you can use in a lab that's dangerous, but it has a use. Like, the stuff that... Um, you frequently prepare in a lab when you're dealing with a problem is something called piranha juice. Piranha juice? Yeah. And like the it, fish with teeth. Yes. Piranha juice is made from uh, concentrated... It's, it's sulfuric. <laughs> it's, I want to say it's nitric acid, but that you feels wrong to me because you know, we up. want to use nitric acid in a lot of organic labs. It's, it's, so I'm going to say sulfuric acid and uh, hydrogen peroxide. Um, and you make a... like. You make this when you've got a, like a round bottom flask that has. Okay, I'm gonna take a brief walk here. You know, you know the the popular vision of of scientists working in a lab with pristine glassware, and there's like lightning crashing outside, and they're they're laughing maniacally as blue uh, chemicals <laughs> bubble in yeah, yeah, glassware yeah. and, and like a very big smoke. change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was um, like, yeah, in a nice clean fashion. Then you were like, and then it went. And Dr. Lightning. Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that never happens. Right. Usually what happens is you wind up at 4 a.m. with somebody in a lab coat staring at charred tar in the bottom of, of, of glass going, I have to hide this. <laughs> that was $15,000. <laughs> <laughs> so when you wind up with charred tar in the bottom of a, a, a round bottom flask, that's when you make piranha juice. You just make a little bit of it in that flask, 
and then you clean it out, and you pour it into something else, and then you neutralize it, and it's gone. Uh, that it's it's dangerous. It's bad for you. You don't accidentally make piranha juice. You don't make you don't make it in any other situation where you have to store it. Um, you can do that with dilute hydrochloric acid. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Uh, Cam. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so so the, it's it's uh, it's basically just to to dissolve whatever was in the. Yeah. It's uh, but foof shouldn't. It's one of the things, I think it was made by that, that lab in Germany, where they're just like, oh, we're going to stick a few more nitrogens onto this nitrogen molecule and see what happens. And you can tell them what's going to happen. It's going to explode. I, I, I love somebody in the chat saying it, it is a better oxidizer than oxygen. Yeah. Uh, and <gasps> it, it can explode uh, as a result of Brownian motion from photons. From, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you turn on the lights, right? Uh, basically, it's it's... It's like an oxygen molecule that has, no, it, it is an oxygen molecule that's got two fluorines on the outside. And what those do is they just pull all the electrons away from the, from the oxygen molecules, and that makes the oxygen molecules very uncomfortable, and they want to find more, more electrons rather a lot. They get hungry. Yeah, they're, they're, they're cold and lonely. And that's why it oxidizes things. It, that's why it sets fire to glass. <laughs> Just use 10% uh, HCL for bus sake. Yeah. 